How to create a Windows PE introduction and explanations. All our goal is to know what is a WinPE and what are the methods to create it. The first thing we need to understand what is a WinPE. We could find the answer to this question simply by searching in Google for Windows PE. The first result would be the Microsoft official website. Windows PE is short for WinPE. When I click on that, I will get more explanation. It says WinPE is a small operating system used to install, deploy, repair Windows desktop editions. From Windows PE, you can set up your hard drive, install Windows, capture and deploy Windows images, modify the Windows operating system while it's not running, etc. etc. So based on Microsoft, a Windows PE is a small operating system. When you when I say WinPE, you think of Serge Sterling and the Hirons boot and all these popular names. But in Microsoft, it doesn't mean that. It means a small operating system and has a CMD or command prompt window. Let me explain it in a better way. Now take a look at this. When you try to install any Microsoft Windows, you get in the setup. After you boot up from your flash drive, you see this screen in front of you. It has the setup steps to install your Microsoft Windows. In fact, this is actually a WinPE. You might not believe me, but I will show you. If I press Shift and I press F10, I will get the CMD window. It's very easy. Now I will write not bad and press enter i will get the not bad now if i press on file open and i choose all files now i can see all files right now while i am actually in this environment or while actually i'm installing my microsoft windows now if i go back and back these are the partitions of the machine i am working on it contains the system reserve and the partitions that contains the installed windows now and it also contains the flash drive or the CD that you are putting from. And there is another partition that takes the letter X. If I go to this partition and go to Windows and go to System32 and search for a file called WinPE, I will find that there is a file called WinPE shell. What this means, this environment or this Windows installation is actually a WinPE. So even your normal way of installing windows you get in a microsoft windows pe you might not feel it but it is the truth but it is not the one pe you are thinking of like it has desktop and start menu it is just the system files and the installation steps which is the window you see after booting up you don't see anything else but in fact it is actually a microsoft windows pe now watch this if i go back and i press right click on WinPE shell and I press run as administrator it brings in front the setup window that means this WinPE shell the thing that brings this setup screen now I know that this normal installation is actually a WinPE now let's go back to our explanations we could also explain it in another different way what is a PE you know that win is actually equals windows so win is the short for windows now pe equals pre-installation environment it's a word that doesn't probably mean anything to you so let's go in details pre equals p4 installation equals the installation microsoft windows installation environment equals operating system now if you put all that together you get before microsoft windows installation operating system that's like an operating system you can use before doing a microsoft windows installation so that's an operating system that works without installation just like that is this an official explanation no i just made that up so to make things more clear how do we make a winpe so there's actually two ways doing it the microsoft official way which is mentioned on the website second one using a third party program if you check on microsoft website you will find out that it is, they are explaining how to create a winpe but keep in mind that the winpe that will be created by microsoft doesn't contain a desktop 
So it is just the environment very similar to the environment I just showed you. It's very similar to that, but it has, but it can be modified and created manually. It can be updated, added drivers to it, etc. etc. It contains also network, but it doesn't have a desktop. I will tell you later why it doesn't have a desktop. The other way is using a third party. So this is the way that gives you something similar to the popular names like Serge Sterlik and Hiron's Boot, etc. This is the way most of the people use. Now, there are a lot of programs out there that gets used to create a MPE. I will just mention the most popular names. It goes like this, Winton XPE, Win Builder, Win Builder 2, Phoenix PE, Make PE 3, Winton PSE, Win 8.1, SE, Win 8 PESE, Win 7 PESE, and PE Pickery, Make Win PE Trusted. That's actually a lot of names. We will be going through each one of them and I will explain how to use them and what are the advantages and disadvantages of each one of them. But let's talk about how they all work, like what are the similarity between all of them but they gave different results due to the fact each one of them is created by a different person also there are other third party programs created by companies for an example iomi pe builder version 2 but in mind that i'm talking about the programs that can create a wmpe that has a desktop each one of these programs you use it to convert a normal microsoft Windows iso into a wmpe so you download the program insert the iso in it it does a some sort of processes at the end you get an iso of a wmpe that's how these programs work each one of these programs has advantages and disadvantages each one of them has options that is not available in the other one some of them work on windows 7 and doesn't work on windows 10 keep that in mind how these programs make the wmpe from the microsoft windows iso a wmpe created by these programs consists of three important things one the loader most of the time it is pcmd or just a cmd file what this means the loader is just like a program that initiates or starts the wmpe let's take a closer look for example this is the register if i go to this pc and i will go to the partition that's taking the letter x and go to windows system 32 i will find a file here called pe CMD. If I open this file, I will find all the commands that gets initiated or started after booting up. This is the loader. It loads the required programs and applications in order for you to see the desktop and start menu and network on all that. From this file, I can control what gets started and what doesn't get started. So it is just a list of commands that gets used after booting up. Most of the time, it is BECMD because it is the most advanced and easier to modify. So it is the most used one. Here is another example. This is Iron's boot. If I go to this PC, the partition that's taking the letter X, go to Windows, System32, I will find the file BECMD. I will open the file and file all the commands that gets initiated after booting up. These are the commands that's responsible for seeing the desktop and the start menu and all that. You can modify these commands. It also is responsible for making the shortcuts on the desktop and start menu. We will be going in that on details later on. So PECMD here is the loader. Number two, the shell. It's most of the time file explorer or when X shell. What that means? Let's go in details. This is an Arctic WinPE. If I open this PC, this is actually the normal Microsoft File Explorer. As you can see, it is just the File Explorer. But if you look at this, this is not the Microsoft File Explorer. It looks different. This is the normal File Explorer. And this is WinX shell. That is the difference. WinX shell looks very similar to the normal file explorer as you can see it doesn't contain all of the options that the normal file explorer has it contains very few options and looks very similar so now you know it is either file explorer the normal microsoft ones while file explorer or when x shell three start menu it could be start is back start 11 start 10 open 
shell it could be anything of these examples so let's take a look if you look here this is actually start is back if you look here this is actually start is back if you look here you will find that this is different what is this this is classic shell classic shell is another different program they all provide a start menu put in mind why is this used because the normal windows 10 start menu doesn't actually work in a wimpe so an alternative must be used now here is another example this is hiren's boot if i check the start menu it looks different what is this this is actually start all back so in hiren's boot windows 11 is actually using start all back there has to be a start menu program so now you know that it must contain the loader that initiates the commands after booting up the shell is which file explorer the normal file browser or one x shell and it must contain a start menu so these programs adds these three important things in order to make a wimpe it also adds the drivers and the needed dll files and the registry files to make the system work and boot up it also could contain other stuff like network it could be pe network or win x shell and sound which is normal windows sound sometimes you don't want to have network or sound so you create a wimpe that doesn't have sound or network it depends on what you are looking for you must have these three things in each WinPE in order for it to boot up and work. Now put in mind some important tips. One, the .wim file is called kernel. What that means? Let's say for example, search Sterling and press right click, 7-zip, open archive. It must contain files that are actually dot wim this file is called the kernel it contains the operating system so this file is actually the wimpe itself another example hirens boot sources it contains a file dot wim this file is the kernel it contains the operating system the dot wm file is your wimpe and in the same time it is the kernel an ISO could contain more than one kernel. If you take a look at Sergistelic again, you will find that it contains more than one file. So an ISO file could contain more than one kernel. Number three, the files inside the kernel equals the kernel size. It means the more files inside your operating system, which is the MPE, will make your kernel bigger in size so the more files in your operating system equals bigger size for less files inside your kernel equals less size equals less ram required equals less ability to run programs this might seem a little hard to explain right now but to keep it simple each program you try to run in your wimpe requires some dll files if the program doesn't find the dll files it's looking for it will not run so if you have very less dll files you will not be able to run a lot of programs but also it will equal less size which means less ram required to boot up your wimpe okay so looking at search sterling if i press right click and go for task manager i will find out that at performance the used ram is one gigabyte going back to hirens boot then pressing right click task manager and going to performance the used ram is actually two gigabytes and a half why is that now let's go in files this is hirens boot open archive the kernel size is almost two gigabytes now if we go to serge sterling The kernel size is half a gigabyte. That means more size means we need more RAM. Less size mean we need less RAM. But less size means we can't run all programs. As I said, each program requires DLL files. So you will not be able to run all the programs you want. Bigger size, you can run all the programs you want because all the DLL files will be available. That what means less files equals less size, less RAM required, and less ability to run programs. A 64-bit WinPE can run 64-bit and 32-bit programs a 32-bit wimpe can run 32-bit programs only keep that in mind only you can't run 
64 bit programs on a 32 bit operating system and that's almost everything you need to know before you try any of these programs we will be reviewing each one of these programs and i will be telling you how to use each of them and tell you the advantages and disadvantages of each one so just stay tuned i do hope you enjoyed this video Creating a WinPE is not a very hard task, it is just very simple. Also, modifying a WinPE is not very hard. I will be explaining how to integrate registries, drivers to add programs, also how to install programs which hasn't been shown before, and most of the known tricks in modifying a WinPE. Best of luck to you and I will see you in the next video.